you may love him or hate him but arvin kejriwal is one dimension that cannot be ignored swiftly through his actions some of it very questionable kejriwal has joined the legacy of indian leaders who have connected with the crowds the reason why we say this is because kejriwal is that all important dimension in this lok sabha election मोदी जी के दामन के ऊपर गुजरात के दंगों के छींटे थे इंसान का इंसान से हो भाई चारा अरविंद केजरीवाल अ न्यू ब्रांड ऑफ इंडियन पॉलिटिक्स अ मैवरिक ब्रांड दैट हैज चेंज द वे पॉलिटिक्स वाज डन इन दिस K J Wal is among that brand of powerful political communicators who have instant resonance among people love them or hate them but you cannot stop talking about them while his direct political opponent is attributed with the same traits history is witness to many many more former prime minister and congress president indira gandhi referred to as the gungi gudiya She went on to become India's Iron Lady, accused by her political opponents as authoritarian, most loved by her political constituency for her instant and tough decision making. During the socialist movement, Jay Prakash emerged as the people's voice. In the late 60s and the early 70s, every bit of what Lok Nayak Jay Prakash said carried massive political weight. George Fernandez has also been credited for capturing the imagination of the country. He was the first and perhaps the only one to have brought the massive Indian rail network to a grinding halt. And very recently, Arvind Kejriwal's one-time mentor Anna Hazare brought Indians onto the streets and the UPA down to its knees. Now Arvind Kejriwal's phenomenal rise in 2 years is the result of a calculated strategy aimed to catch the eye of his constituency the aam aadmi his actions may appear spontaneous but behind it is a well thought about strategy Less than 3 years ago he was an assistant an accessory on the stage to Anna Hazare. 2 years later Arvind Kejriwal was taking oath as the chief minister of Delhi. But it was what happened in these 2 years which made a politician out of an agitator. Thousands of aspiring politicians have been forcibly dragged by cops, but Kejriwal knew how to exploit these scenes. And he did that by targeting Congress where it hurt the most. It's disconnect with the Aam Aadmi. While other parties targeted macro issues, Kejriwal went for the jugular with direct issues: water bills, power bills, corruption at lowest levels. His target: not only the slum dwellers but the much ignored middle class. He urged Delhiites on a path to civil disobedience. asking them to tear up their electricity bills and his party symbol helped a broom which promised to sweep away all problems of delhiites it became such a potent symbol of that anger that it even overshadowed aam aadmi party's little known candidates but the agitator did not fully leave the neta kejriwal in a first a chief minister was on a dharna braving the chilly winters of delhi against the high-handedness of another middle class villain delhi police the politician also managed a media coup by fulfilling his most popular poll promises in the first few days as delhi chief minister and then kejriwal set his bar higher targeting narendra modi and entering the national political stage the aam aadmi party chief took the battle to modi's turf driving through the state attracting media attention at every halt and some unwanted attention attention that resonated in the capital in a full scale war between aam aadmi party and the bjp cadre the kinds of which was never seen before in latin's delhi 
and setting the stage for a battle royale against the political royalty in Varanasi.